welcome Elise Fermenter. We are so excited to be talking with you. Oh, likewise. Um, how are you doing during this unprecedented times? I'm putting my head down and just painting away. Your work certainly gives off this sense of joy, this sense of dream. Maybe that's a really nice escape for people to have, especially people listening today who have one on their wall and they get to look at every day to kind of get away from it all. Well, that is exactly the intent when I paint them. I want to make the world a little bit more beautiful in my own way. So I appreciate that. Elise, tell us a little bit about what inspires you. I love vintage fashion. I'm inspired by all things vintage, especially the 40s and 50s are probably my favorite era. And so this is kind of my attempt to re-envision an era that I idealized, that I never knew, but what I see it in my mind's eye. And with the surreal paintings, they're inspired by a lot of pop culture. The candy ones, I was watching Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and they did Wonka Vision. And I just, in my mind, I was like, oh my God, that would be the greatest thing to incorporate. That whimsy, that feeling of Willy Wonka's land. The ones that are in the pool take themselves very seriously, or they're very composed. and. There's a one piece inspired by Tubro, the artist who did the cake paintings. I went and saw him at the MoMA, and I was so inspired by the medium that he used. He uses really thick paint to get the frosting texture. So I came home and tried to envision how I would incorporate the bathing beauties into that land of, of decadence. The way I work is I'll find references from the 1940s and 50s, and I will collage them all together. I'll take five or six photos and piece them all together, cut and paste, until I get the image that I, I see in my mind's eye. And then once I have the collage all put together, then I draw it on the canvas. So that's the beginning stages of the paintings. I love it. I've got the, the gal in the gown hanging. Marshmallows. Marsh, yeah, with the, yes, that was one where I, I was trying trying to make it, it beautiful with the with the twist. <laughs> I love it. I do, I do. I feel like it just feels they're happy and they can be dreamy. They're fun. Yeah. No, I, I life is too serious, and fine art takes itself so seriously, which I, I mean it, it should. But I like to 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 lighten up the mood and to make it a little bit more playful. I love surrealism. I've always been a huge surrealist fan. When I started doing the pieces with the candy, I hadn't really figured out how I could incorporate surrealism with the bathing beauties. And so that was my venture into the realm of surrealism. And I love it. Those are my favorite pieces to do. Those I, I can't wait to start and I, I love working on them. The, uh, the water pieces are, are very complicated. They're like surgery almost. <laughs> it takes so much intricacy and perfection. I'm always amazed by that, that you're able to take paint, which is opaque, and a canvas, which is flat, mm -hmm. yet create this translucent quality. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, thank you. I, that's my main goal when I'm doing the underwater pieces, to create depth, is to do a lot of thin layers of paint. It's once you put them all together, make it so you feel like you can touch the painting, that you can, that it, that it's almost, that it is, uh, appears three-dimensional when you look at it. You just sent us a sketch for the gal with the beautiful floral headdress. I can't wait to see that. That one, as soon as it started to come together, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I mean, stunning. No, I'm excited about that one. When it happens, it's like magic. It, it, there are a few pieces that are just like, oh, wow. Those were pretty much just a re-envision of the flower cap. I was looking at a flower cap, I'm like, Oh, that would be pretty if there were different flowers rather than so I just started cutting and pasting, putting it all together. And like when I was done, I was like, that could be something. And I used to make uh, paper butterflies when I was a kid. So I was like, you know what? Why don't we revisit the old paper butterflies? Paper butterflies. Well, and it's almost an ode to fashion. I mean, it, it, it all kind of comes together, beauty and the elegance of the age as yeah. well. You definitely yeah. feel like... And it's hard to get that age with just a face. So I yeah. mean, that, that's kind of been the tricky part. I've always been a huge Quentin Tarantino fan. Just because he can embody cool in a single image, he embodies just, just a striking 
uh, mood and vibe immediately. And I've always wanted to be able, that, and that's always been kind of my goal, is, is to, to get that same glamour and coolness just at a glance, at a moment's notice. So that's what I aim for when I'm doing those pieces, I imagine, like who would put Tarantino cast. So Elise, when you're painting, do you listen to music? What's going on in, in your mind or in the studio when you're painting? I, I have to be happy when I'm painting. It's always a, a mood that needs to be there. And music is always helpful, but I watch a lot of comedies. Because I do work alone, it is nice to have something going on. I listen to a lot of music as well. I love Elton John, the Velvet Underground, anything from the 60s, the 50s, 60s, and 70s. That's just what inspires me. Well, is there anything else you want to share with us? I think it's pretty obvious that the paintings are inspired by water. Everything that, that I... Water has been probably the hardest thing to figure out. That's been my lifelong goal, is to figure out the intricacy of water. I use a lot of watercolor techniques. I will put a canvas on the ground and I'll just puddle different layers of paint and let it kind of do what water does on its own without forcing it. And then on top of that, I will paint the actual water reflections. I used to um, paint a lot of abstracts. What they all looked like was my interpretation of water. And then when I got into the Bathing Beauties, I was finally able to combine the two methods of the abstract painting that I did along with the Bathing Beauties. I'll paint the, the backgrounds in a watercolor and then I'll paint the figures in oil paint. So there's actually two different mediums that are being used in one painting, which gives it a different look and a different feel. So. And that's pretty much my story. The pieces speak for themselves. They're so impactful and playful and joyful. Thank you so much. That's my intention, is to create a little bit of happiness on canvas. I love my tagline. <laughs> exactly. Create a little happiness on canvas. I like that. This has been wonderful. And as we're sitting here talking, I'm thinking back through all of the Elise Remender paintings that we have had come through the gallery. Yes. Um, awesome. And yeah, it's just a beautiful body of work. Well, I want to thank you for everything. I, you have uh, made my career possible, and for the past eight years, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing without you and your help. So I absolutely uh, attribute much, if not all, of my success and ability to, to thrive in this industry is because of you, and you've added stability to my life as an artist is something that is almost impossible to find. So I want you to know how grateful I am for you. So, and I do appreciate it all. Absolutely. Well, we're grateful. We are completely grateful for you too. And so happy that you're in our mix of folks that we get to represent. And it really, it means a lot. It especially means a lot in, especially in times like this when you feel like you just want to feel connected, be a part of something bigger than maybe you are. So, thank you. No, absolutely. And I commend you on, on reinventing yourself and trying to navigate through this we will come out on the other side stronger. That's right. Well, thank you guys so much. This was wonderful and such a treat. So ever. nice to see you and more and, and communicating more That's with cool. everybody than before. So it's been a nice catch up. For us too. Thank you. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.